fans, this is the Oscar Clown. This is part two of looking back to my childhood and how bad, how badly I was and how disturbed I was in my mind. But, uh, um, so let's just get this over with and look at this one. So, and I have a lot of magazines here. Right? There's nothing else here. So, let's look at it. There's not a lot here, so but let's get started. Um, some sports magazines. Okay, no one doesn't care for that sports magazines. It's just when I look at my childhood here. Um, but these were actually all part of my childhood. Um, remember the, remember this magazine? Have you ever seen this? I remember looking at it. I actually stole this from school. <laughs> it, um, actually, no, I didn't steal it. I just took it. They were like, do you want this? They were like, nah, I'll take it, actually. So, I took it, and it has pretty nice stuff in here. Um, they talk about Transformers here. Um, I think the tra second Transformers movie. Um, I think that's the time that Spider-Man 3 was coming out. Um, oh, I'm probably gone. Um, then they talk about Evil Dead in this also. I don't know what they really talk about because I just got the book because it has Spider-Man in it. <laughs> and th there's a lot of stuff in here. I, mean, I should check this out one of these days, but... You know, can't promise. <laughs> uh, but, and then there's, then there's this. Let me put this back here. Then there's this. I drew this when I was very small. Um, this character right here, this little character became something, I mean, you guys never heard of this character, but I named him after me, my real life name. And it's something that I always cherish because my cousin kind of drew the head and I created the whole body. And that's basically it. And these drawings right here, um, I never actually questioned why did I put them in the folder. Um, but I guess I just love to draw. And here it is for my, like, my video game fetish of Kingdom of Nights 3 here. And, um, it looks pretty terrible, um, but obviously you can see Skull Clown here, Mog, and some other two characters, and Skull Clown fighting another character. Um, so this is something that's from my childhood, um, and looking back at this, it's like, was I mentally disturbed? <laughs> I mean, look at this, it's, whatever, it's, it, it is what it is, and... People love looking at shit like that. Um, and I drew another one for my, obviously my, for my Skull Clown, um, when I first started making Skull Clown. Um, and this is it, um, Skull Clown Volume 44. Um, I was going to keep going, and I don't know where the rest are at, maybe some of them are thrown away. But this is the picture of it, this is like a little mini poster that I made. Of it. You can see Meatwad right here. You can't really see him, but there's um, Frylock up there. And Frylock is basically Yoda, basically telling Skull Clown what to do. Um, and there's a couple of people here. You know, I never actually named these people. I just put them there mainly because, hey, put humans there. Um, then Mickey is down here, King Mickey. Um, mainly because it was tied in with the Kingdom Hearts storyline. Um, th th there's a lot of things, and then supposedly this is Castle Oblivion. Look at my fucked up Castle Oblivion. <laughs> um, wait, is it Castle Oblivion? I don't want to say it is. It, it looks like more of Hollow Bastion. <laughs> uh, uh, the way that I drew this is just fucking crazy. And then I made another one, Volume Volume 8, and I was, uh, like I said, I love Star Wars. So I made Skull Clown, um, Skull Clown Star Wars. And I think I misspelled Star Wars. <laughs> um, again, here it is. There's Skull Clown here, basically like the Dark Vader of it. Um, kind of, kind of like a super, a, a bootleg Superman boy. And, um, got Firelock, Meatwad, Shake, Mickey. Look at all these characters that I made, and they look fucking terrible. Um, but, like I said, I made this in 2009. In November of the 28th of 2009. Uh, this is 
actually really cool. I when I'm when I was done making this, I was just like, wow. But then I look at the bottom and it's like, uh, this could be an upgrade of something, you know. And this looks really cool. Um, volume forty seven of it. It looks really cool. I, I thought, I like the fog of the explosion thing. Because you don't see Skull Clown here. You're going to see him in the explosion. And that's what I, I like. Because at the time I drew this was the picture of, you know, remember there was rumors of a new Twisted Metal video game coming out. And then there's like, they had this poster of a smoking clown laughing. That's what basically what it was. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Um... And this was the movie right here. This is just, if you want to say, this was actually the first Skull Clown movie that actually never happened. <laughs> um, Skull Clown the movie, the movie, movie, volume 49, bigger and uncut. Obviously, I took that from South Park. Um, and there's barely anything. How can you be like, oh, this looks great. I can't wait to see that. This would be more resembling as a movie than this. <laughs> so anyways, Mickey and all these people here. So I was I love Aqua Team Hunger Force. So I, I was a big fan of it as a kid. I don't watch it anymore. I don't know why. I, I have to go back to it. And this is just junk. Actually, no. This is not junk. This is... My games that I always... Because I, I want to be a video game designer. This is what I would name them off. Kingdom of Nights. Kingdom of Nights A New Memory. Kingdom of Nights 2. Kingdom of Nights 100 Days. Times 20, I guess. I, uh, yeah, yeah, that's times 20. Um, Kingdom of Nights The War. And basically the thing is. The Kingdom of Nights War basically told the story of. Who Skull Clown parents or something. Um, Kingdom of Nights, Birth by Dreams. That was actually pretty interesting. Birth by, because obviously Birth by Sleep came out. I was like, what if it, it, it became Birth by Dreams instead of Birth by Sleep? So, someone being born by dreaming instead of sleeping, you know? Um, but that was before I played Birth by Sleep. That's what I thought it was <laughs> in the beginning. But it wasn't. Um, then Kingdom of Nights, um, the beginning of Scar Clown, which... And then King of Nights 3. Um, obviously, the beginning of Skull Clown was the, the prequel of the whole franchise. Um, but then we get King of Nights 3. So there's my games right there that I made up. <laughs> and um, and then this little thing. The, this looks terrible here. Really terrible. If any artist will look at this, they'll be like, those do not look like stairs. These right here are supposed to, are, are supposed to be stairs right here. It's supposed to be like that chain of memories poster when Sora is going up the stairs and there's Namine and Goofy and Donner going upstairs. It's supposed to be like that, but fucking awful. I love, I love laughing at my old chair. It's like, wow, how far I came. Skull Clown Volume 50, The End. And it's basically, you know, every character that you met, obviously, is Skull Clown going up the stairs to the final, to the final thing. That was the last one. Of all, but um, what's this volume? This is volume fifty. This is volume thirty-one. Skull Clown volume one. Um, K H Birth by Sleep. And obviously, the Skull Clown character is right here, but he's human. So um, I didn't know how I was going to tie into that. This is my bootleg Master Xehanort, <laughs> and this is my bootleg um, um Vanitas right here too. He doesn't even fucking look like Vanitas. He fucking looks like Killer Croc or some shit. And then Mickey is in the middle. He had to put Mickey in the middle. Um, and that's it for this for this one. Um, I, I, yeah, I, ha I still have more left. So don't worry, guys. Don't be like, oh, there's no more. There's a lot more left from there. It's not much, but it's something. This is... My CM Punk um, magazine right here from WWE. I think this is from two... Th this is where... It, it, I think this explains a lot. What year did this magazine came out. And it just... 
back then when I thought they were going to show what WrestleMania looked like the arena, but then I was bullshitting myself thinking that the arena really looked like this, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> it's still pretty intact, actually. It's not bad. If anyone wants to get this from me, go ahead, because it looks pretty, it's not bad shape. It has, actually, no, don't buy it. It's nothing. And then I have this CM Punk poster. Um, I never hanged it up, mainly because I don't, uh, I think I broke it. Maybe, that, maybe that's why. I was just like, oh, CM Punk! Whoosh. Yeah, look at that. I was just like, never mind. Am I hanging it up? A shame. And then this one right here is a big, giant Amos Stereo poster. And then in the back, you get this big, giant CM Punk poster right here. So it's like, and then you get what CM Punk has done. Fuck, um, the big show. Um, who the fuck is that? I mean, that's Wayne Mysterio with... I have no idea. I think that's CM Punk. I guess everything he was CM Punk, so I guess that's CM... I, that probably is CM Punk. And then The Undertaker, so... Um... Nice stuff here. Um, I haven't looked back at none of these in a while, so... Um... I got a couple of these more. Um... I just want to know how long is this video right now? Alright. No, it's not. I thought it would be longer. Uh, I thought it was longer. But anyways, let's look at this right here. Oh, uh, um. History Max Memories. This was when I was in high school. My cousin drew this. He actually painted it, actually. He didn't drew it, he painted it. Well, he, obviously he drew it, then painted it. But, um. It was something that I always like to keep. Because he was the class of 2010. And... He, and he put this in the back of it. It says, As people of Holyoke, we live, breathe, dream, and in, in, inspire to better our, our lives for others and ourselves. As it, as, I can't even, I can't even read that. <laughs> it, it, okay, there it is. As it should be, and to create a better future. For those of the for those of the present and future to the present to the previous and share our uh, oh no basically. I kinda fucked up there, but then <laughs> I fucked up everything was making this girl clown picture. Look at that. Um I couldn't I fuck up everything. Um to put that right there. My little paint job of Skull Clown and his friends over here. Mog is on the right hand side. I painted this instead of drawing it, then painting it. I was just fucking around actually. See what I could do with paint in high school. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at this, mommy. Wow, this is terrible. Looks like a five year old did it. And this is basically mathematics here. Ugh, math. Let's not talk about math. No, okay, no one doesn't need to talk about that. No, we're not here for a fucking history lesson or anything. But, uh, this was all the stuff of wrestling. I actually made a WrestleMania stage, like, look at that. It's fucking terrible. But, um, back then when WCW was around, back then when WCW was shit. Well, actually, back then it wasn't that bad. Then it went to HD, and then it got shit. So, um, then I have a lot of WWE stuff here, which really doesn't really matter. It's just fantasy stuff here, like fantasy matches here, like CM Punk versus Sabu in the Steel Cage match. Holy shit, that sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds really freaking awesome. Oh, my God. Batista versus the we got that. Uh, Fiddly vs. Edge in this How Many Cell match. Huh, how would that match go? Kane vs. Kali, we got that. Mr. McMahon vs. Randy Orton for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, Triple H vs. Jeff Fardy for the WWE Championship. Shawn Michaels vs. The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. This card looks pretty ish. Pretty okay ish, I guess. Um, cause I made a pay-per-view called Big Time, and it's just, what the fuck was I thinking? And this is like, I'm, oh, I made a pay-per-view called Twisted Metal. 
I, like I said, I'm a big Twisted Metal fan. Twisted Metal. Again. And then, uh, then here's the match cards of the Twisted Metal. Um, JTG versus, um, Alex. Axel. You know why I, I, I never know who I'm talking about. In the first blood match, Axel wins. Uh, Candice Michelle, remember her. Um, uh, versus... You know who fuck? Who fucking cares? It's just something from the past. I know I'm just getting KO about. Um, so moving on. Um, let's see. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Or scribbles. Scribbles. No, I did not dip that. It was Skull Candy 81 that did that. I remember, she was way younger than me, so. Moving on. <laughs> if you want to hit the bucket of all fucked up drawings, this is it. This is the worst drawing I have ever, ever made. What the fuck was I thinking? And I, uh, I made Vengeance Three Kings Day. Why did I did that? Mick Foley versus The Rock versus Oh Mick Foley and The Rock versus Randy Orton and Edge for the WWE Tag Team Champions. Mick Foley and The Rock won. Um, Kane versus John Cena versus Triple H for the WWE Championship. John Cena won. Ashley versus Michelle versus Kelly Kelly. Versus Candice Michelle for the Women's Championship. Oh, Melina, not Michelle. Um, Candice Michelle won that match. Um, Gray Kali versus Mark Henry. Gray Kali. And the last man standing match. How would that work? Gray Kali and Mark Henry in a last man standing match. Gray Kali won that match. Um, this is some, this is some of the stuff that I didn't even play. I let the computer play. That's why I did back then. It was kind of boring, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, Jeff Hardy versus Fidley. Fidley won. Um, uh, Batista versus MVP and Batista and Ray Maceo versus MVP and Mr. Kennedy. MVP and Mr. Kennedy won. Uh, let's see. It, it, it was for the World Tag Team Champions. Damn, remember the World Tag Team Champions? Um, Carlito versus Chris Masters. Carlito. Needles Kane, Sweet Tooth, um, versus Sergeant Slaughter, Sweet Tooth won in an ECW Championship match. Jason, Jason Voorhees versus Tommy Dreamer. Uh, I, I have nothing to say. I think it speaks for itself. Let's just move on. And. There's another pay per view that called Gingerbread. I was in this period of Christmas. No one just wanted And I drew this. I guess this looks cool. I mean. Nah. It, it, it sucks. My WrestleMania wannabe, tw WrestleMania 24 wannabe picture. Then, I get SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, and I have some matches here. I mean, 2009. Um, Grammy Stalia vs. CM Punk. Miz vs. Edge. Fiddly vs. Kane. Mark Henry vs. Batista. Um, Melina vs. Ashley. Oh, Ashley's so fucking gorgeous. Um, Mark... Matt Hardy vs. Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton vs. MVP, John Cena vs. Chris Jericho, JBL vs. The Great Khali, Umaga vs. The Undertaker. I wish that match happened. Um, Mr. Kenny vs. Chavo, Carlito vs. DX, Carlito and Snitsky vs. DX inside a Hell in a Cell match. That was the main event. Uh, and that's it. So yeah, that that is really it. But there's more in the back over here. Um, that's it for this one. So 
and I have a Jeff Hardy picture here. Um, well, magazine. So, who remembers having this? I think most people have, and it was leading up to SummerSlam, um, August 17th, probably 2008, 2008. Um, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, it's a picture of, no, nothing, that family. And this just shows a whole bunch of stuff here. I mean, if you have this magazine, you know what's basically in it. I mean, it shows how to lift weights with the great Kali. And then I have another magazine of Jeff Hardy that was leading up to WrestleMania 25th anniversary. And obviously you can see that there. Um, let me show it again. And not that much, just stuff. And oh my god. Uh, Candace Michelle, Michelle McCole, and Kelly Kelly in bathing suits. Hello. I, uh, I'm just gonna keep that for later on. Um, then we get a magazine from 2006 that's from video games. Really? From a video game from 2006. I know actually I did get these magazines back in the day, but then they stopped giving to me to them because my mother. So whoever, whoever has this magazine knows what's in it. it. It talks about obviously King Kong, the video game. This is how old this magazine is, people. That's how old. Um. Let's see. Did I just saw X Men Legends Rise of an Empire 2? Um, yeah, this is from PSP days. Jack X? Do you remember Jack X? Jack fucking X? Do you even freaking remember that game? I fucking don't. Well, actually, I do. I wasn't a big fan of it. To tell you the truth, it was just. I'm not good at racing, racing games, except for Twisted Metal and Mario Karts. But that's only it. <laughs> remember back in the day when you could actually buy stuff in your phone? I remember that. Now, no one doesn't want this anymore because it's a piece of shit. And, it had, and you had to pay for it too? Are you high? It's like, oh, if you want a nice, sexy lady, it will, you would have to spend about $6. Yeah, you want that sexy picture of a lady, you're going to have to pay $6 for her. Just text to 755-555. And... Remember this game? Yeah, this is going to say how old this magazine is. It wasn't that good, I heard. But... Yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog. I heard it wasn't that good. Mainly because it's like, why does Shadow have guns? Hey, I thought it was badass. Final Fantasy 11 Online. Final Fantasy 11 Online? Wait. How old is this magazine? It says 2006. 2006, the year of previews. Oh. Zelda, the, the Twilight Princess. Final Fantasy 12, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 games. You know what? I have nothing to say. It's just, it, it's just, it says, it says everything right here. And it's right here, you know, I, I just, no, I just, I have nothing. I, I just, I'm sorry, I have nothing here. I have nothing here. Look, remember the DS when it first came out? The very first DS? And there's just so many. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006? And something that my friend made. Really cool. This is the Skull Clown signing off. I'm glad you enjoyed my videos, and I'm glad you enjoyed this one. I hope if you guys want to see more of it, just comment down below.
and I would love to do more, trust me. I have a lot more stuff. There's like about, about two, about three things that are there, or maybe four. So, there's a lot more to go through with my childhood that I kept. So, this is Skull Clown signing off. Have a nice day, and I am going to have a good time for these people. Alright, see you guys.